So guys, it is finally here. The major PAL world update, which introduces new content like the first raid boss and many, 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 many other things which are definitely a welcomed addition have been added into the game. Now, as I make this video, the Steam version is available to download for you PC players to play, but the Xbox version is coming very, very soon. I'd probably say within the next few days. But today, guys, we go through the entire update patch notes and there's a lot to get through here, guys. So sit back, relax, smash that like button. It really helps me out. And let's get into this new Power World content okay so let's go and we're gonna start with the new content here so implement the first raid boss you can summon raid boss powers by using slabs at the new summoning altar now the summoning altar guys is something you have to put inside of your base from what i've seen so far so you need to make room for this and, and slap this thing inside of your base and then you can go in summon the boss and fight against this dude pretty cool now raid boss powers summoned by slabs are very powerful and cannot be captured work alongside your base pals to take on these powerful foes pretty cool pal eggs can drop after defeating raid boss pals and that's very very interesting that's probably going to be the way we can actually capture and use these raid bosses obviously the first one is Belenor, so that's pretty cool the extreme version of the raid boss is incredibly powerful and difficult to defeat very very interesting for sure can't wait we love a good challenge here new training manual items have been added these manuals allow you to give experience points to pals wow new item ancient technical manual has been added this manual gives you ancient technology points and can be randomly found inside dungeon chests okay good addition new recovery meds item has been added too using these meds will slowly recover your hp over time awesome you won't need to rely on your powers anymore okay so new item homeward thundercloud has been added when used this item will instantly move you to your nearest base wow get out of jail free card that sounds uh new item ability glasses have been added when equipped you can see power stats like what like what that was a modern arc what the heck? that's a that is a mate that is amazing that's pretty cool so if you're out after certain stats on certain powers i don't know to help with your breeding progress this is incredible that's an amazing addition okay so new stat boosting items have been added power fruit life fruit and stat fruit these items will boost power stats when used really is that a permanent change We'll see you guys, we got a lot to investigate with this new update. Okay, so we also have it added a new passive, Mercy Hit. Pals with this passive cannot reduce enemy HP below 1 when attacking. Oh man! Now upon first reading this, I'm thinking, why would you want this? But actually it makes complete sense because if you have this on a pal and you want to capture a certain power out in the open world, but you don't want it to be killed, this now will allow you to take it down to a 1 HP and catch it much, much easier. That's an incredible inclusion, it really is. We also have new item, Ring of Mercy has been added. When wearing this ring, you cannot reduce enemy HP below 1 when attacking. That's incredible too. These are amazing for you going out and capturing those powers. Pretty cool. Okay, so new armor, multi climate undershirt has been added. Protect yourself against both the heat and the cold with just one slot incredible okay so a new building electric egg incubator has been added this incubator consumes electricity to automatically adjust the temperature to the optimum temperature for each egg that's a great great change or an inclusion it really is okay so a new building or mining site has been added this mining site allows you to produce ore from the comfort of your base wow no more ore farming spots or no more ore base spots where a lot of people have had these have built their bases around these ore spots on the map and have their pals there just working to farm that ore for them this completely eliminates that wicked absolutely incredible change okay so now on to pals uh kelpsy can now produce power fluids at the ranch 
Oh my, these, these, these changes are just getting better and better and better. Okay, so Doom Mod can now produce high quality power oil at the ranch. You can now reduce the weight of metal ore while riding Serpent Terror. Cool. Increase the amount of ore dropped while riding Astagon. Jeez, if you guys haven't seen my Astagon uh, ore build, He's got basically the lightning strike attack. You boost up his stats, so he's got maximum attack. Um, he absolutely wipes out or in a certain vicinity with one shot. This just makes that even better. Awesome. You can now raise Powell's rank to the maximum with a single synthesis using the Powell Essence Condenser. Condensation progress is now accumulated in the individual Powell. Wow. Negative power status will now be resolved after spending some time in the power box. Pretty cool. Okay, so now onto UI. While aiming a sphere, it will now display how many of the target power has already been captured. <laughs> Jeez. You can now check uh, the cooldowns on partner skills for all your powers on the main screen. Nice. Equipment and item stats are now visible on the technology screen, even if you have not unlocked them first. Awesome. The tutorial has been improved and renamed to Journey. You can now show slash hide the journey in the game's options. Damage number display size can be changed in the game options too. In raid boss battles, the damage numbers tend to overlap a lot and it may be difficult to see, so we recommend adjusting the size here. Cool. Okay, so onto player. Items dropped by players after death on a dedicated server can now be picked up by anyone after 24 hours of real time has passed. <laughs> Pretty cool, guys. Wow. Uh, added new sleeping player emote. Okay, so now onto base related. You can now allow and disallow certain work uh, for base powers at the monitor stand. Incredible change. Uh, chest filters have been added. Nice. Select item types uh, to allow or disallow inside chests. Pretty cool. I guess this will stop certain pals around your base taking certain items to certain things. That's what we like to see. Crafted items are now transported from crafted facilities. Selecting the allowed transport uh, when crafting will result in pals transporting those items to chests when finished. Nice. You can now edit your character's appearance at any time by using the antique dresser. Cool. Building and building piece placement rules have been relaxed. Nice. You can now connect stairs facing upwards. Pretty cool. Probably the best change so far. Not joking, but yeah, so cool. Roof pieces can now directly connect to foundations. Man, that's badass. Triangular walls can now be connected to stairs. Pretty badass too. Uh, you can now force a power to work and cancel their break by picking them up and throwing them towards a facility. Powers recover their same while taking a break, so be careful. Yes, they do. Fixed assignments remain fixed even after bad events occur. Previously, some assignments would change due to certain conditions, but now they will remain unless the power is placed inside the power box. That's a great, great change, people. Hopefully, they stay locked to that certain assignment after you log off and log back into. That was a problem I always had. So, yeah. Okay, so balance adjustment. A minimum heat and cold resistance have been added to various armor. You will no longer need to take off your heat resistant armor when it is cold at night in the starting areas. Good change. Reduce the button press time in the egg incubator. Change the pattern of the German child Ignis to something more unique. Okay. Uh, added legendary blueprints for some firearms dropped from specific areas enemies nice corrected the selling price of diamonds in single player it is no longer possible to select the initial spawn point for multiplayer blocked the back of the starting area with rocks to prevent players from getting lost or stuck increase the attack power multiplayer of partner skills that increase the player's attack power while riding has been unformally reduced from 2.0 to 1.2 okay so eggs now have a small chance to produce Alpha pals say what? Really? That's badass. Flying and floating pals are now immune to falling damage. Shot price adjustments. Okay, so we have bug fixes here. Fix a bug where treasure chest would become empty when dying in a dungeon, etc. Fix an issue where the effect that increases a player's attack power while riding was duplicating and accumulating under certain conditions. Conditions. Okay, fixing issue where players were not receiving loot when capturing powers while mounted. 
adjusted the HP of the Legend Opal and fixed an issue where the difference in HP between the captured Legend Opal and the bred Legend Opal was too large, fixed an issue where Pal would eat while riding. Okay, so lastly for this section, fixed an issue where Sphere's Throne, uh, close to Wild Pals, would not hit and be lost. Okay, so others improved the various PAL models and textures, nice, added and adjusted some sound effects and many other minor bug fixes. Now onto a dedicated server here, fixed an issue where sorting did not work in the server list, improved the server list to allow page transitions, dedicated servers now support various log outputs and implemented a REST API. And please check the tech guide for details, the link there. Cheap Prevented fixed a vulnerability that allowed Steam account spoofing and fixed several and fixed seven of their critical vulnerabilities. Soundtrack, one new song has been added to the soundtrack. If you've already purchased the soundtrack, please update and enjoy the new song. Please note that the soundtrack may take a few days to update. They also say, and this is a big one, we are planning a larger, more content packed update for summer 2024. Enjoy never before seen scenery and thrilling adventures on a new island, home to many new pals. In addition, we plan to add a large amount of new content, including new buildings, weapons, and tower bosses. Thank you for your continued support. That is absolutely incredible, people. A massive, massive update for sure and again another big one is coming in the summer now there's also a another little inclusion they say a known bug now this has obviously been added with the latest patch so keep this in mind after the update a version 0.2.0.6 it has been reported that uh, there is an issue where eggs cannot be placed inside the incubator we apologize for this inconvenience the problem can be resolved by rebuilding the incubator so not too much of a problem right there but there we have it guys an absolute massive jam-packed content update for pal world absolutely unreal i cannot wait to jump back in guys i've had a, about a week off now but this is going to pull me straight back in so expect many many more powerboard videos from me but guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one